So this is the Unify Cloud Key running Unify Protect. And we've been testing it for a little while. I don't, I haven't had time to put a full review together yet. Uh, Chris from Crosstalk Solutions did a great review if you want to dive right into it. And it's a pretty solid system in terms of functionality uh, for an MVR in comparing to as well the Unify video platform. Uh, we're testing it with a 4K, which, oh, by the way, their 4K cameras, the way it does a little spinny thing, definitely really cool. So we're kind of doing some testing with both of these devices. And it's been kind of interesting because the question's been coming up, not just for people asking me, but asking myself, what platform should we go with when we're building out some of these systems? So this is where there's kind of a split in the way Unify is handling Unify Video and Unify Protect. So to distinguish the differences, Unify Video was very innovative when it came out because one, most of your video platforms for NVR and recording are hideous. They're not well polished, they're not well put together, the UI is kind of painful. Many of them are, and I'm referring especially into lower cost markets, many of them are these unusual, I need a flash plugin to run uh, type of systems that are really aggravating that used to only work with Internet Explorer. So there wasn't a lot of good systems out there. Here comes Unify with a really nice UI, a nice interface, really simple connections, and uh, a nice app to go along with it so you can view the cameras and you could host it on your own hardware, which was really cool. Uh, there's not a lot of companies out there that offer being able to set up on your own hardware. And this is something that really brought them to market. Uh, their cameras not being the cheapest, but they were within reason. And the purpose was their software would only run under hardware, so it did promote a lot of hardware sales. Then I know there was a lot of problems with it. Now, a lot of the problems had to do with, and we get this call still to this day, people with, I have a old system I thought would run this Unify video software and it's crashing all the time or having this problem is because they underspec the system for the volume of cameras. When you start recording 1080 cameras, uh, which the Unify base models, they make a 720, a 1080, I think the 721s are probably all just continued to that was the first line they came out with, but you have to process all that video. And even though the streaming and some of the compression is done within the camera before it's streamed uh, down the wire, that does take some processing power to handle. Therefore, a lot of the problems were undoubtedly related to hardware that people had being inadequate to run the number of cameras. Obviously, this creates a problem for Unify. They want good reviews on their products, but they know that a lot of you know end users, consumers, less of the professionals would be installing this and complaining about the product. And I feel that's why they decided to go towards the Unify Protect route. Now, the Unify Protect system runs currently as of April 1st here. No, it's not an April Fool's joke. Uh, but as of April 2019 here, the Unify Protect system only runs on the Cloud Key Gen 2, but it appears that they plan to eventually port it to other uh, devices, maybe a more uh, robust and higher end system with better specs than this Cloud Key Gen 2 has. Uh, but Gen 2 Plus, I'm sorry, so specifically Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. But at the moment, it only runs on this, which really curtails the number of cameras you can have, the amount of storage you can have, because this will only hold a single hard drive. I think you can put some USBs in there. But this is not robust enough to handle a larger system. We have currently deployed Unify video systems that are larger than the Cloud Key can handle, so that there's not an easy migration path. The good news is Unify has stayed with their commitment to keep pushing updates for the Unify video platform. But here comes the question. What do you do right now if you're in the market to buy something? Which one should you buy? Should you go with one of these Cloud Key Protects or should you go with the Unify Video? Well, the good news is they, because of the support and because they seem to have laid out a roadmap that they're going to be into the Cloud Key, you can kind of base your decision on that. So if you want, it is still supported, it is still free to download. You can download the Unify Video software. The Unify Video software, the previous version that you're running your own hardware, you can still run it on your own hardware, run it in a VM, run it however you want. They plan to continue to have updates for it in terms of bugs, uh, but they're not gonna do any more features to it. And because it doesn't call out to any type of licensing server, it can sit there and run pretty much indefinitely without a problem. Um, my, you know, barring any bugs or any problems like that. So that is not necessarily a bad solution. And later, if you decide you want to go to the Protect and you're already using the Unify cameras, you still can because you can just remove that controller, 
unmanage the cameras and bring them all over to a Unify Protect device. Now the downside is, will they ever release Protect to run on your own builds and own hardware? It doesn't seem likely. I That's my feeling. I have no inside information on this, but I think Unify is trying to keep the Protect line on high quality hardware and then it makes it easier to sell. And I gotta admit, this is challenging because when you are start asking questions of, I wanna run a 30 camera system, exactly what hardware should I run? When you're hand picking your hardware, okay, we start with AMD, we start with Intel, uh, we start with how much memory you need. You can see this can become a little bit more convoluted versus this device here says runs up to 20 cameras. I will admit, it, once you put even one 4K camera on there, it is a little bit sluggish. I'm gonna be covering that in my re when I get to reviewing this. Um, it does feel a little sluggish with some of the 4K cameras attached to it when you're pulling up video, but I probably have a feeling, I don't have 20 cameras hooked up to it, but I have a feeling it's gonna get a little sluggish based on its uh, specs, even with 20 cameras. But you can see where Unify can like lay out if they have a line of offerings for the Unify Protect series where they have you know, it, one that supports 20 to 40 cameras, one that supports 40 to 50, so on and so forth. It's easier to sell from a product lineup. You figure out how many uh, you plan to grow to. You buy an NVR recorder for that size and you buy the unified cameras uh, to go on the system with your plans to expand later. So I don't think the Unified Protect is at all a bad product. I still think it's a good purchase, but if you have some of those needs, you can at the moment go to Unify Video and later with plans going to Unify Protect. Unify Protect, they have said is their way forward, is how they're going forward in terms of uh, new features and new add-ons. We've updated this several times since we've had it because uh, that's one of the things I wanted to review is leaving it on record, the little pile of wires back there. We've just had it recording stuff in the office um, and we pull back through the videos randomly, making sure it works. And then whenever there's an update, I said yes, and all the updates have gone perfectly smooth. So they do seem to have a lot of uh, issues figured out because the updates have gone a little bit more manual, a little bit less smooth on some of the Unify video products, uh, some of those problems related to MongoDB. But I've been able to resolve them just by downloading a backup, reloading a software, pushing the backup back to it, and it worked perfectly fine and re-imported the videos. So there's methods around it. It's just not a one-click update. Didn't work every single time on Unify video. And these are some of those challenges I think they have. That's why they, my, my guess is behind the scenes, there's a lot of code refactoring that went on in the Unify Protect series to make it more stable, make it more user friendly. Cause well, we wanna be able to just put these in at you know, a small place and click update, it updates and we don't have any headaches. And when you buy the Unify video devices that they sold for the Unify video, the previous ones that were dedicated MVRs, those always went really smooth. It's all the custom build ones because there's a lot of factors that go into it. And I think that's probably just something internally that happened at Unify They go, wow, supporting the wide range of hardware can be quite a bit of challenge and it is, and it's also why most NVR companies don't do that. They sell you the box complete. You know, you contact Hikvision, Axis. The majority of these companies wanna sell you a box that runs everything as opposed to you, oh, just find your own hardware and build it out. Uh, so as of right now, I don't think Unify is a bad purchase. Uh, I think they're still good. I think you can still go with the Unify video, even here in April of 2019 and later migrate here. So if you have going, hey, I want to, I like the Unify video, I want to go with it, you still could. Um, and the migration path is there to Unify Protect when Unify Protect has one. We have a lot of installations out there right now that are currently running Unify video. They're working perfectly fine. The clients are really happy. They like the app. They like the way the interface works. They're still actively pulling video from it. And some of these have 50 cameras. So I I can't just drop a protect in as an upgrade path later for them. Hopefully later though, as I said, I, I believe Unify is going to have full servers that support this and that'll be exciting when they come out. Some of their, maybe a nice rack mounted, you know, one, two U supporting multiple RAID arrays in it. Uh, NVR, that'd be great. Um, I just don't feel they're gonna release it to the you know general public like the Unify video that you can run it on your own hardware. That I don't see that um, unless someone can find a link and show me something official from Unify uh, to convince me otherwise, but based on any reading I've done, I don't really see uh, a path for that right now. Um, as far as other video software goes out there, people ask me a lot about that. Uh, we have used some of the commercial products. We uh, use them with some of our clients that have like two and 300 camera installs. Unify, I wanna say, does not really scale that well, but those products are in every way substantially more expensive. Just the NVR licensing on some of them sometimes costs about $130 annually per camera you install. And uh, some of those other products out there are nice. They do work well. 
but they're not in the category that you would have the Unifies in. Uh, that's a more affordable, you know, I'm going to say an example, like a small pizza place that says, hey, we need five cameras installed, grab a Unify Protect, install them. It's still a great solution. So that's my thoughts on these uh, devices. I don't, you know, I don't have a a clear map because I wish Unify, you know, would tell us what else Protect is going to do and when the release dates are for those. But I'm imagining they're working them on the back end. I still like their products. Uh, I will get around to reviewing this, but thus far the Unify Protect system, other than being a little sluggish on the 4K, the 1080 cameras seem to record perfectly fine with it. But I tell you what, I wish the cameras all did this because that blue spinny thing is really, really cool. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.